everybody, Don Carr here with Robert Keeley, and today we're looking at the Noble Screamer, which is what the, combination? The Noble Screamer is the Noble's ODR one and the classic Tube Screamer. Let's give it a listen, man. I'm going to start just with the uh, bypass tone, and we're right. playing the uh, Supro, the Keeley Supro. Yes, that's Very the nice. 1968 yeah. RK with the 12 inch. Right, with the 12. I like it with the 12. Yes. <laughs> Great. So here's our ODR yeah. sound. You can see that, that the spectrum control rather yeah, right. on this is the tone control. Right. And then this has a soft clipping and a hard clipping section. Yeah, right, right. Here's the highly focused tube screamer sound. Right. Yep. Classic. But you can get some fun sounds if you use the OD clipping, the hard uh -huh. clipping, right. into the Tube Screamer tone control. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Nice, Isn't that man. Great? Yeah, what that a great is, hybrid. It really is. Wow, because yeah, I, I was expecting the low end to sound completely different than that. Exactly. That sounds great, man. I remember that you guys had a couple of golden samples that you were working with, mm -hmm. with this, right? Is yes. that, so was that, were you, were you kind of matching that sonically? Is that sort of where you were exactly. going Exactly, we, we purchased about three of the uh, ODR1 mm -hmm. uh, pedals mm -hmm. and quickly realized that, that they started to sound different from each other. You know, sure. you could have sure. either maybe errors in the building or, or something like that. Yeah, so. component, you know, mm -hmm. variations or whatever, yep. um, yeah. So, we sorted out which one was the, kind of the best one and the correct one. Yeah. We went we went to Nashville and we hung out with the guys there during the development of the Halo pedal, and we yeah. and, and we handed out the uh, our Noble Screamer attempts, and they're like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, you know. Yeah. Then we developed a little special switcher that allowed us to compare to our pedal to a variety of ODR ones and having in different loops. So we went back out there pretty convinced. We got a bunch of new analyzers at the shop. Oh, nice. And uh, so put all those together so that we knew we had the sounds nailed in, in terms of the feel, yeah. the way it sounded, the frequency response, the hiss levels, everything. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> we well, had... and, and you know, and, and from a player standpoint, it's always about the touch and the response and the sustain and all exactly. that sort of stuff. And if you get all that right, man. Yes. So we, yeah. we were pretty convinced and we brought our whole uh, rig out to, to Nashville <laughs> nice. and we got the blessings of literally everyone. You know, like, yeah, that, yeah. That's it, <laughs> yep, I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, I so. remember you brought that rig here and I had the same reaction, <laughs> like wow, this is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, really good. So this is the one that started off the whole series. It is. It's like yeah. the proof of concept. It's yeah. like we can, yeah. we can nail you know, vintage pedals and, and get the approval from the pros that listen to these things and depend on these things to make their songs, you yeah, know I mean? right, hit right. singles or do their recordings. Exactly, you know? man. It's a tool that you're using at work, man. It's right. kind of important at that point, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, killer, man. It sounds really great. 